Hi guys, it's Carol. How are ya? I want to show you something I saw today. I haven't seen one of these in years. Years. But when I was a little girl, they were everywhere where I lived in New Mexico. And kids played with them, picked them up, put them in a box, took them home. Then your mother made you put it back outside. It's hiding in the this area right here of grass and rocks. It's a lizard. Now the name of it is called a horny toad, but it's not a toad. It's not an amphibian. It's a reptile. It's a lizard, but it's called a horny toad because it has horns on its head. And it's right there in the very center of this picture. It's very good at uh, camouflaging. There it is. Now you can see it a little better. It has horns on its head. Wait a second. I said wait a second because I'm doing a voiceover. I just took still pictures. Actually, Rhett took the pictures for me. Anyway, here's this horny toad. They're actually a lizard, but they're short. Average size is about four inches. They can get up to seven or eight inches, but mostly they're small. They're flat. They... And they can make themselves even flatter, but they're a pretty flat little creature. They can also puff themselves up to puff themselves up to twice their size um, to make a predator think they're too big to fit in their mouth. <laughs> they are really docile. They're not harmful to humans. They don't eat, they don't bite. They can bite, they have teeth, but they don't typically bite. They eat ants, harvester ants, and other insects. They look mean. They look ferocious because they've got these scales all over them and these horns and they just look, they look mean and ferocious, but really they're not. When I was a kid, everybody used to pick them up, turn them over and rub their belly and they would go to sleep. <laughs> I guess it just relaxed them so much. That was a thing to do. Pick up a horny toad and rub its belly till it goes to sleep. But anyway, they have four legs and that little tail. They're not long like you typically think of, a, of as a lizard. They're short and flat. Um, eat insects, like I said. They prefer to be like in a sandy area and they burrow down in the sand to sleep. They, when they hear anybody around them, animal or human, they get extremely still, like a rock. Although they can run really fast, but mostly they sit like a rock, and then they might move, you know, like a foot or so, and then they stop and get real still again and hide in, in whatever, the grass or the rocks, wherever they are. They... um uh, a Texas horny toad is the Texas state reptile. They're an endangered species and they're protected. It is actually illegal to own one for a, a pet. It's illegal, illegal to own one for any reason. It's actually illegal to pick one up now. They used to be plentiful in Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico. They were everywhere. But in the early 60s, people started started gathering them up and selling them for pet, pets. Well, they eat harvester ants mostly and other small insects. And so when they were sold as pets, they ended up dying because they couldn't get the diet they needed. And I hear that in Mexico, they still sell them as pets. I, I, I don't know, but that's what I've heard. But anyway, in Texas, it is actually actually illegal to pick one up. You can't own one. You have to leave it alone. It's an endangered species, and it's protected. The um, Besides looking fierce, puffing up to make their predator think they're bigger than they are, or to get even skinnier and flatter to hide, they have one weird defense system. There is a gland in their eyelid, and they can spit blood up to five or six feet. 
what they can do is they spit blood in the eye of their predator. <laughs> now, this blood that they can spit out of their eye is full of formic acid because their diet is harvester ants. And that formic acid, if a dog or cat gets a horny toad, that will make them sick. And I've been told it tastes pretty nasty. <laughs> Obviously, I've not tasted the blood from a horny toad, but I have heard that that's part of their protection is it tastes really nasty. <laughs> um, like I said, when I was a kid, everybody picked them up. Even me, who is scared to death of insects and toads and such. I've picked up horny toads. I mean, they were everywhere when I grew up in New Mexico. And everybody picked them up and rubbed their bellies. Um, and they would turn their heads and look at you. They were cute little things after you get past them being so ugly. <laughs> um... But like I said, I haven't seen one in years because they, uh, their numbers have decreased, decreased so much, mostly uh, from urban sprawl, plus because of spraying, spraying for insects and spraying to protect crops, spraying the insects. If it didn't kill the harvester ants, that's what they eat, it also killed the horny toads. So pesticides are really bad for them. Um, coyotes eat them, snakes, hawks, and a big predator is humans. Because if you mess with them, you know, you get them out of their environment. They don't have the right thing to eat. They're going to die. And that's why it's illegal to even pick them up in Texas. In Texas, don't mess with Texas and don't mess with horny toads. All right, I just thought maybe if you don't have these where you live, you might like to see one. Like I said, they don't get real big. They fit in the palm of your hand. They're typically about four or five inches long and don't hurt you. They're not a danger to humans, but don't pick them up. Leave them alone. <laughs> Let the poor things survive. Okay, I... That's about all I did today. Went to see my granddaughter's goats. I'll stick in a picture here at the end. Goat's eyes freak me out. <laughs> Their eyes have a slanted black portion that goes sideways. Oh, they're weird. And one of Taylor's goats is a breed that doesn't have ears. He just looks like he needs some ears. She named him Whiskey, even though he's black and white with a little bit of brown on him. I don't know where she got Whiskey. Anyway, he's a funny looking thing with his freaky eyes and no ears. But he is so sweet and he is so funny. They are just comical creatures. Casper is the other one. He has horns. Whiskey should have horns, but he's just never grown any. We don't know why. Um, their favorite snack is animal crackers. And Taylor gave them some snacks. I didn't have anything to give to him. And so I pulled some leaves off a tree. And that's what I was feeding them for a snack. I couldn't get them to be still long enough so I could get a good picture so you could see their eyes. But take it from me. They are freaky. They they just are freaky eyes. <laughs> Okay, guys, here comes a picture of those silly goats. Hi, Whiskey. Hi, Whiskey. <laughs> oh, your eyes, yes, your eyes freak me out. Whoa. <laughs> don't knock me over. Where'd the other goat go? Casper. He's behind you. No, don't knock her over. Oh, you're eating something? I see you. Yeah. Don't get him in the booty hole. I see you. Oh, their eyes freak me out. Hey, Whiskey, the heck? Big for you, Whiskey. What's going on? Yeah, I brought snacks. Dude, I'm the only person who brought snacks. I'm the only person who brought snacks. Nobody else brought me. Yeah. I'm trying to get you one. 